This is plants versus zombies. You've got the plants here, the zombies here, and then the plants shoot the zombies, and then they fight. Pretty self-explanatory title. And this is what plants versus zombies looks like when you corrupt it beyond belief. Now, I've seen and played a lot of Plants vs. Zombies in my time, but I have never seen it this broken before. Like, wh wh what's even going on here? Is this even still considered Plants vs. Zombies? So, yeah, as the title states, I did in fact corrupt Plants vs. Zombies to an unplayable extent. The amount of times it broke down, crashed, or just stopped being normal was way, way too many times. So I thought to myself, why don't I just beat the game while it's corrupted? It'll be fun. Spoiler alert. It was the worst decision I ever made. Even before I actually started the game, before I even placed my first plant, I'm literally struggling to start the game because the main menu is going ape shit. <laughs> Did you just see that crow's eye? <laughs> what? No, I don't want to do puzzles. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do puzzles. Now, one small detail I want to point out is how I can't control any of this. The cursor literally goes wherever it wants to, and it keeps sending me over to puzzles. How many times can I tell this game I refuse to play puzzles? There's so much going on on this one main menu screen, I, I literally think it would be impossible to list off everything that's wrong with it. If I haven't been able to even start the game yet, then imagine how bad and corrupt it's going to be later on in the game. N not Connie. Please co lay RK to post S to, to the IRDS. What? Oh wait, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Thanks for telling me that game. So at first, I didn't really notice anything out of the ordinary. Well, besides this cursor, which seems to have done acid and crack simultaneously. And there's a slight graphical glitch on the flowers. But those glitches were just teases compared to this. Now me and the nostalgia critic were very concerned and confused when we saw this. I literally just saw a zombie die, come back to life, and then have a weird energy ring below them for just a single frame and then rush across the side of the screen at a million miles per hour. What, what am I supposed to do to combat this? How, how am I supposed to fight back? Like I can't even afford one pea shooter and I need like 20 of them. Okay, well, I actually lied. That wasn't the first severely corrupted level I actually played. But if you count this as quote unquote playing a level, then yeah. Here it is. There's almost nothing to see here. It's just the pea shooters and zombies are completely invisible besides their shadows and the text is just off center for some reason. Now, maybe I'm just lucky or the fact that there's only one lane to worry about, but I did actually beat this level quite easily, even with the visual puke slapped all over it. Oh, and the music, oh my, my. Let me tell you, there's a reason why I haven't played that much of the sound from the game so far. And it's because this is what the game sounds like normally. And this is what it sounds like now. Oh, and let me just say, I have done you the service of lowering the volume because on my end, this is ear burstingly loud. Besides a few graphical glitches and zombies refusing to enter the garden, literally, they would just never ever come out from the bushes. I can literally place sunflowers all day without the worry of them being eaten. You can even see them here just looking through at the side of the screen. Well, that was true until I got to the final wave and none of them entered the garden, preventing me from killing any zombies, thus making the level impossible. Great. Great, now I'm gonna have to reset. Yeah, I had to reset a lot, but it's either I can't see anything or the game just stops working and becomes impossible. So resetting is basically the only way I can progress if either of these two things happen. D D Dave, Dave, what? what is going on with Crazy Dave? Good old Crazy Dave. He's, uh, he's looking a bit, what? <laughs> what? What am I looking at right? Yo, my name's Crazy Dave. Dave, you're, you're being attacked right now. You're being attacked. 
it. Dave truly is one of the strangest characters I've ever seen. I mean, he's already a pretty weird dude, but if you corrupt him, you have to multiply that by 4.7. One of the strangest sights you can ever see is when for just for a split single frame, you can see Crazy Dave without his beard. And it just looks so uncanny. It just You're just not meant to see this. You're literally not meant to see this. I also like when there's like three Crazy Daves appearing at once, merging into one entity, and he's still getting kidnapped by the bungee jump zombie. You know that guide Crazy Dave gives you that gives a description of the zombies and their weaknesses? Well, even the zombies in the book are dying, and the pole vaulting zombie is literally trying to escape the book. Literally, one of the weirdest glitches I've ever had is when my screen just shrunk to the fifth of its original size. And as you can imagine, this made it literally impossible to play the game. Oh no 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 no, that's fine. Let me just break out the scope just to see my sunflower in Plants vs Zombies. Anyway, I went on to complete the day levels and then on to the night levels, which had some of the same corruptions as before. I mean, we got Dave here glitching out still. We got this conehead zombie teleporting all over the place. You know, the usual. Until I came upon this very funny glitch where the whole game crashed, which is forgivable because that's happened a load of times. But then I reload the game and see this. Start adventure. What? Okay, so that's a little weird because it usually says what level you're on, but that's fine. It probably hasn't done anything to the... What? The entire game reset. All my progress just vanished before my eyes. The corruption actually resetted my save data. Which you might say that isn't actually that big of a deal since it wouldn't take that long to get back to where I was anyway. But I had played this game while corrupted. So I went through an endurance of a thousand crashes per minute. I spent so long trying to beat the day levels while it was corrupted. Oh great. How'd you like this? My entire screen is stretched out and I can't even see all my lanes. I can just about eyeball two of them. Barely. Okay, these conehead zombies that are really fast, these things don't go away. No matter how many times I reset, they are always there. Always there. And they come out immediately at the beginning of the level. So how do I stop these things? Well, I reset a bunch of times, roll the dice, and hope they won't come as much. Yeah. I don't know if that's considered cheating or not, but if I actually want to beat the game corrupted, then this is the only way. I want you to look at this level for just a second. This is the first thing I saw when I enter the pool level. Nothing. I see almost nothing. The screen is literally so dark, but you can just about see the pool water. And the plants are so giant, I can't even see where I'm placing them. It's just, it's literally just a guessing game if I actually place them in the right place or not. And the top part of the level, that, that's just, I, you can't see that. But you know what? I actually didn't reset on this level. I actually beat this ridiculous corrupted level. So I should get an achievement for that alone. So this level was actually being quite normal at first. A few laggy zombies here in there but it wasn't that bad until this happened and by the way this is not sped up at all okay so it came at me like a jump scare how am i supposed to stop that from happening it's, it's literally impossible okay well you might say if i place spike weed on every single lane then that will sort it out nope it just goes straight over them with no issues. Oh, and predictably, one went straight over the lane where I don't have a lawnmower. He doesn't even get out of the Zamboi. He just drives straight through your house. After a few silly corruptions like this stretched out screen again, I got to the fog stages, which is bad. I hate the fog levels. These levels are just so annoying. I usually forget these levels are even in the game, but when I realize they are in the game, that's when I usually take a convenient break from the game. Although, you know what? The vases minigame is actually pretty cool. I'm skipping over these levels. So I finally reached the final stages of the game, the roof, without the game crashing on me and corrupting my save data. Thanks game. One thing I do appreciate about the roof levels is the killer soundtrack. Amazing. The roof levels were actually pretty stupid. There were so many times where things like this happened where I can't see any of my plants nor any of the zombies. So I'm just literally guessing where everything is. Rolling the dice. And then there are these other times where the zombies just die immediately the second they spawn, which is just... Uh, it's actually pretty helpful. Can't lie, that is, a, that, that is a good thing. You know what's ironic and weirdly wholesome? The only part of the game that doesn't corrupt is the Zen Garden. I mean, that actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's a very, very cool thing. Almost no corruptions. Okay, well, 
al almost no corruptions. It's probably the most functional part of the game. For some reason, I really enjoy the Zen Garden. It's just peaceful. You know that puzzle mini game where you have to place down the zombies and you need to destroy the plants? Well, that's been rendered stupid. Just stupid. Just look at this. How am I supposed to play this? And the vase breaking puzzle? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, Crazy Dave looks really messed up. I tried out the mini games and they're as equally as messed up. Um, excuse me, what what exactly is that entity over there? Why are there bouncing lily pads on the floor? And what are these zombies doing? Having seizures? The final battle. All of this has come down to this moment right here. And it comes down to me and the giant robot. Thing. I've gone through so many crashes to get to this point and finally I beat the boss and can say that you can beat this game while corrupted. <sighs> and then the game crashes and I lose all my data. Bye.